Marso pa lang, pero parang ang dami na agad nangyayari ngayong taon, no? Parang ang sarap tuloy lumayo, magpahinga, at magkaroon ng ultimate summer vacay. At ano pa nga ba ang magandang panangga sa tag-init? Bibila ang weekend trip! Basta may magandang view, pampalinaw ng isip. Paglabas mo, is the view. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Kunwari, tikim-tikim. Hanggang maging happy tummy. Ang gata, ang asim, kagat ng anghang. Hindi lang good vibes ang dagat, pati kung ano-ano pang galing sa tubig, pang alis din ng bad vibes. Ang goal, mabilis, pero sulit na bakasyon sa loob ng dalawang araw. Paano? Madali lang, lilibo tayo hanggang sa mapawaw tayo sa isa sa mga probinsya ng Pangasinan, ang Bolinao. Touchdown, Bolinao. Uh, pag naka... Motorcycle, uh, three and a half, four to four and a half hours, depending on your pace. Kapag uh, mag-van ride ka, I think abutin ka ng mga five and a half to six hours. But the main point is, it's land travel. So it's so accessible, lalo na kapag kayo ay nandito sa Luzon. Best to uh, ride your bike if you're a rider. Diretso ka lang ng T-Plex, exit ka lang ng Paniki or near Paniki. Uh, dire diretso na yun. Pumunta ang Pangasinan. Wala uh, masyadong traffic kapag nakamotor. Unang-una sa lahat, doon tayo sa ipinagmamalaki ng Bulinao. Ang seafood. Nasa tabing dagat ang kainang ito, kaya naman seafood platter agad ang sasalubong sa inyo. Maparami man kayo ng kain, okay lang dahil sakto ang mga pantanggal ng umay nyo. Anong masarap gawin kapag busog na? Abay! Eh, di siesta! Meron din kasing spa services para sa mga guests ng resort na to. Isa pang kilalang produkto ng Bulinao ang masusubukan niyong anihin sa farm na to. Go ahead! Sakay ng isang tren, may ikot nyo ang ilang bahagi ng 500 hectare salt farm. Sa isang bahagi ng harvesting area, makikita ang mga salt sculpture. Well, it started this way. The, uh, many, many years ago, some, some salt farmers, we start making salt uh, and, and making brine around uh, December. Uh -huh. So what he did was, he made a star shape. Okay. Out, it's about this big parang parol. Yes. Right? So he makes a parol out of bamboo, then decides to dip it in the pond. There you go. Then he left it there. Like, 
three, four weeks later, it was filled with salt. Okay. And he decided to hang it and then showed it to everybody. Oh, we have a, Ooh, we have a salt parole, right? It's like, it's like part creativity, part uh, accidental. Accident. Right? But it's a good accident. Uh, creativity comes from all of these accidents, right? That's true. That's right. True. So what we've done so far is uh, open up the creativity for the salt farmers so that it becomes interesting for people to visit not just to see all that salt being made but what else can we make with salt correct right so we're we're seeing these things like uh, the animals from the zodiac <laughs> oh my god ang mga tipak ng asin daraan sa ilang proseso para madurog dahil sa laki ng salt farm na to nadagdagan pa ang produkto nila so what's the story behind these energy eggs well uh the energy egg started with uh, um, a visit from the Department of Health, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Department of Health, okay. Yeah. So the uh, we encountered uh, various doctors there, and one of the doctors was talking about they were studying, you know, alternative medicine mm -hmm. and trying to introduce that into the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And then we, when he, when they visited here, the main project was salt iodization. Okay. Then we showed them the lake. Then he's saying, okay, there's so much energy in this lake. It's very warm, which is true. Dahil puno na ng asin ang lawa, nagiging mainit ang temperatura ng tubig kapag naarawan. Aabot sa 70 degrees Celsius ang init ito, o kasing init ng iniinom nating kape. Every year, every October, we have a celebration, a salt festival uh, with the whole company. We call it the Unity Day of the company. And what happens here, is we, we have a holy mass, then we distribute the eggs to all the salt farmers and their families, and then we all share. So we're literally taking the energy. Three, boom. Sabi ko na eh. Mighty energy egg. <laughs> no, but then, it's a bit salty na. Parang, you don't need to sprinkle some salt anymore. Hindi na, oh. Pero tama lang, no? Balance lang. Yeah! Hindi siya... Santo lang na. Santo lang kasi I don't eat solid egg. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not... Like, for example, sa Shopao or whatever. I'm not a fan of... Okay, okay. Halos lahat ng matutuluyan sa Burinao ay may beach view. Tulad na lang ng resort na to. My first time here, beautiful place. First few seconds, magbaba mo ng kotse or manyan. View is spectacular. Anyway, this is my room. One of the many rooms dito sa ating uh, grand villa. As you can see, uh, pretty much all white walls para talagang maaliwalas. I think they're, you know, you know trying to show the, that Santorini vibe. Paglabas mo, which is, I think, one of their selling points, strong selling points, is the view. Yeah, beautiful. And it's it's wide. It's wide. The balcony here, dito, sa middle level, is really, really wide. Perfect for a really, really big group, big family. See, lots of dining areas, lots of lounging areas. Meron ka pang sariling brick oven or pugon. Gusto yung magluto. At may nagtututulash doon. So, okay lang. Pasok tayo. See? The living room. Living room. May sarili ka ng kitchen. Mm -hmm. Nice ba? Pasok pa sila. Tapos, uh, ay kuya, kamusta po? Good morning. Ay, kuya yung driver namin. Uh, so, gahanap lang ng, uh, ng mahahawakan dahil nahuli siya nandito. <laughs> Kuya, um, nagtututbrush ka ba ba? <laughs> another bedroom on this floor. Pambata, you got your double-decker. And then another bed here. <sighs> Solid. Meron pa itong third floor o loft. Look, look at the loft. There's a bed there. Okay. Oh, parang uh, receiving area, living room dito sa loft. Meron pang ganun. 
Oh, another chill out area here. And another balcony. Look. Hindi ka magsasawa. Dahil mong pwede kang mag-chill lang, relax. Read a book, have some wine, bottle of beer. It works. Let's go down to the lower floor. Whoa! Good morning, sir. Good morning. I think so. Magiting na assistant camera man si Kajeri. Puno puno ng kalaman. Mayroon silang wow. Double decker. Four minutes. Yun! Ang ating producer na nagpapanggap na nag-aayos. <laughs> Para may ginagawa. Wow! Nice! Big room, big mirrors for vanity. May sariling banyo. Nice! Kling. And of course, The room that actually connects you to the swimming pool. All time favorites, the man, and the restaurant menu. What a difference a hotel can actually make when it comes to, you know, your perspective. Kapag mo punta sa isang lugar, no, parang what? Meron pa lang gento. Parang minsan nakita mo na to sa ibang bansa. Ganda rin kasi ng ng kanilang uh, you know color scheme. Santorini feels, Greece, white paint, tapos blue, you know. Tapos nun, meron ka mga infinity pools. Um, um, I think yung kanilang, one of their strengths is uh, their brick oven. So they cook more than just pizza. I think it looks so delicious. Kind of tayo. Saan tayo susunod? Siyempre, ready na tayo mag-falls hopping. In three, two, one. Magkakalapit lang ang mga talon dito sa Bulinao, kaya mapupuntahan nyo lahat ito sa loob ng kalahating araw. Madali na rin itong mapuntahan dahil sementong hagdan na ang daanan pababa dito. Welcome to uh, Bulina Falls 1. Sabi nila na it's around 30 feet deep, yung deepest area. So, kung lalangay kayo, kailangan meron kayong life jacket. Kung maroon naman kayo lumangoy, eh, then hindi nyo kailangan. But this is what you're going to see. Kami, lalangoy kami sa... 2 and 3. 1B, 1C. Actually, hindi ko pa alam yung numbering. Basta sigurado ako na ito ay tawag na Bolinao Falls 1. How simple is that? Sa mga matatapang, pwede kayong tumalon mula sa taas ng Falls 1. Kunting lakad lang ng mga lima hanggang sampung minuto, mararating nyo na ang Falls number 2. Tulad ng Falls 1, kayang-kaya rin ang daan pababa. Malawak na languyan ang Falls 2. 
Napalilibutan ito ng mga cottage at dumadag sa araw ang tao dito tuwing tag-init. Buti na lang, konti lang ang tao ngayon. Kaya, talo na tayo! On to falls number three. Sakto sa mga beginner swimmers ang falls na to dahil malawak at mahina lang ang agos ng tubig. Ano sinabi natin, boy, na falls consists of three falls. Uh, yung parang common denominator ng tatlo ay it's easily accessible. First, I think mga 40 steps, biglang 60 steps, tas naging parang 50 steps. Anyway, it's very doable. Bata, matanda, uh, hindi masyadong, you know, active, kaya-kaya pa rin nila. And what's great about yung the series of falls, bukod nga sa convenience, malinis. Malawak! So kahit mag one or two or three ka, ang dahil mong pwedeng puntahan dahil yung lawak ng tubig na panglangoy ay the best. Uh, hindi naman to yung parang falls na lakas ng tubig on a weekday. Okay? And na masyadong nakikita ng tao. In a matter of weeks, it's gonna be summer. It would be best pa rin if you come to Milanao on a weekday. So you can maximize your Experience. Parang ganda. Ibang tao. <laughs> May mga isda, do. Pagkitin pa kayo sa water therapy ng Bolinao, may isa pang kweba na pwede rin langoyan. Ito ang wonderful cave sa Barangay Patar. Tingnan nyo naman kung gaano kalinaw ang tubig. It's a wonderful cave! <laughs> Bonus pa ang stalactites na kitang-kita kapag nagpalutang kayo. Tapos na tayong sumisid, magpalutang at lumangoy sa tubig. By the beach na salo-salo na ang kukumpleto sa biyay natin. Sasamahan ng mainit na sabaw, pansit, dinakdakan, seafood kare-kare, crispy pata, hi! It's not our first time here. Natulog na tayo dito. We featured this place. And from the first time we featured it, Second time, and then now, wow, parating may mga pagbabago. Palaki ng palaki, paganda ng paganda. Um, some things are still constant. The view, sunset, tunog ng waves. And perfect kapag may food set up dito lang sa beach. Gusto niyo bang bumiyahe in style? Kung couple goals kayo, pwede kayong gumala gamit ang bamboo tricycle na to. Kung barkada goals naman, hehe <laughs> bay, arkilahin yun na lang ang bamboo jeep. Wow, di ba? Dahil may ilang tourist destinations na magkakalapit, sakto ang bamboo tour sa to para may iba naman ang paraan ng pag-iikot nyo sa probinsya. Kapag summer vacation ang usapan, dagat ang unang nasa listahan. 
Hindi kayo bibiguin ng bulinaw pagdating dyan. Ito ang Patar Beach. Kilala sa mga turista ang beach ito dahil sa kanyang puting buhangin. Public beach ito at mga cottage lang may rental fee. Pwede rin magbawa ng sarili pagkain. Sa lawak at ganda ng beach, siguradong pasok to sa inyong Instagram-worthy posts. Paano ba ba masusulit ang Patar Beach? Watch and learn from my BND team. That's how you do it, Vieros. Isang kembot lang mula sa Patar Beach ang Cape Bolinao Lighthouse. Ibig sabihin, wala pang 10 minutes sa biyahe, nasa lighthouse na kayo, Vieros. 1905 nang itayo ito ng mga Pilipino at dayuhang arkitekto sa Punta Piedra Point. Tulad ng ibang parola sa Pilipinas, nagsilbi ang Cape Bolinao Lighthouse na gabay sa mga naglalayag sa West Philippine Sea. Sa ngayon, isa na itong sikat na tourist destination sa Bulinao. Bagamat hindi na maaring akyatin ang loob nito, sulit pa rin ang punta rito dahil sa ganda ng tanawin sa paligid. Isang kembot uli ang biyahe pagpunta sa susunod nating destination. Get ready to be enchanted, Vieros. Magkano po yung entrance? Um, 200 po kapag with swimming, 150 naman kapag... Entrance lang. Okay. Ang dami ng pagbabago dito. Nag-start sir yung ano, 2002. 2004 yata, pumunta na kami dito. Oh yes yeah, sir. Cave lang talaga sir. Cave lang talaga siya. Ngayon, hindi lang siya parang cave. para talaga siya, pati ang linis, maayos. No? Yes sir. E di ka pag summer, ang dami tao dito. Yes sir, ang dami po. Yun po talaga yung pinaka-peak season. Aba, mas pinaganda na ang daan sa paligid ng Paiba. Dahil sa lino ng tubig, dinaragsa ang kwebang ito tuwing weekend, lalo na tuwing taginit. Upang mamparatili ang kagandahan ng lugar, nililimitahan nila ang bilang ng pwedeng pumasok at lumangay sa loob. Kapag mahaba ang pila, hanggang apat na pula ang makakapasok at may limit na 20 minutes sa loob. Dahil weekday nang magpunta kami, konti lang ang nakasabay namin. Yung tubig, kala ko malamig. Sakto lang. Sakto lang, actually. Um, ano ba? Klaro yung tubig. Kitang-kita nyo naman. Klaro yung tubig. Hindi lang tourist attractions ang maaari niyong ikutan dito sa Bulinao. Marami rin kainan ang mapagpipilian dito. Comfort food ang inihain sa kainang ito, tulad ng pasta. Tuna burrito. Tacos. Pizza. Pwede? Pwede. Pero kung dining with a view ang gusto nyo, sakto ang floating restaurant na to. 
Nasa lubok ba tayo? Akala niyo, nasa buhol tayo. Hindi! Nandito tayo ngayon sa Balingasay River Cruise. Medyo bentang-benta na sa amin yung bulin lang dahil hindi namin ito na-feature nung feature namin to a few years back. Actually, even the falls sa pinuntahan namin, hindi na namin na-feature yun. So parang nakakatuwa lang na parang they just keep upping their game in terms of you know, the number of tourist destinations sa so, pwede punta ng Teresa dito. I mean, I'm still mind-blown pa rin ako dahil parang pwede ka nalang, pwede ka mag, mag, uh, you know, a land trip. Tapos na, ang dahil mo pwede puntahan dito. Ay, good luck na lang talaga kapag summer dito, I'm sure. Dagsa. That's why, okay lang dahil mukhang nakausap nga namin may ari ng, ng river cruise. Mukhang, I think, handa na sila dahil ang dami nilang mga ginto. Sa river cruise na yan, syempre, kailangan may, may meals. Mayroon tayo yung iniyong na bangus, nandiyan syempre yung liempo, alimango, hipon, uh, lato. Mayroon tayong ensaladang uh, eggplant, calamares. Mayroon tayong pinakbet at star of the show, sungayan. Kailangan na natin ito. Yeah! Kaya na tayo, kaya na! Napawaw kayo sa view ng floating restaurant, mapapawaw din kayo sa resort na to. You know, um, it's, been, uh, it's been a couple of years since we got back here. Um, pero parang ilang, pag, pag bumabalik kami, parang there's something new to feature. Okay. And this place is, how, 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 how new is this place? How uh, old is this place? We're three years old now, Paul. So we're the newest kind of kid on the block. Okay. And the newest kid on the block, you have to prove yourself. But we're <laughs> right. basically uh, right. an eco resort. We run on solar and wind. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the windmill actually pulls the water from the ground to gotcha. supply both of our pools. Wow. Okay. So, Let me show you first. Uh, okay. One of our advocacy is uh, environment. So mm -hmm. what uh, my wife and I have been doing is we've been donating four wooden signs a month to the city of Bulinao. Okay. All the resorts, the tourist sites, mga barangays, mga islas. At saka mga malalit na restaurants at resorts na hindi nila ma-afford yung Galing. nature signs because yung tarpaulin mapupunit, That's it's true. very bad for the environment. That's so true. Why are you doing this? Because uh, environment is very important. Okay. And then if you take care well, of were you Did you have this mindset like uh, since day one or uh, how? how, I'm, how from, I'm originally from Berkeley, California. Okay. A lot of people are environmentalists, they do right. yoga. Right. They, they're vegan. Right, so, that's true, so that's true. very much into the uh, holistic uh, approach to life. Gotcha. But uh, doon din ako sumikat na gumagawa ng mga bahay ng mga ibon, birdhouses po. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So, so, this, palat, is, oh, this, this is, is my, your thing. This, this is my bread and butter or your, uh, ano yun? Rice and soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> US, oh, yeah, correct, so, correct, so, correct. Yeah. That's awesome, so that's I awesome. Made my money. So, so why... So, I'm, of course, you're Filipino blood. I mean, you've got Filipino blood. Oh, oh, oh. But you were born and raised there in California? I or left you... in, in 74. 74. Yes. And then, why did you come back here? Ah, uh, man, Filipino women are beautiful. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the reason I why? I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to have kids. Okay. I wanted to have kids. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I had two beautiful children with Joanna. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. And she happens to be living in a beach town, so... I'm like, great! Sa pagtatayo ng resort na to, walang binago sa natural environment si na Mike. Nagtatayo sila ng mga tulugan sa mga maluluwag na lugar. At ang bawat kwarto, may tema. Tulad nitong Bully Fugao Room. So, you, you can see the outside, but they, they can also see you. <laughs> so wait, uh, okay, you've got your... Uh, bathroom. Bathroom. Duyan room. Yoga huh? room. It's like a bathroom lounge yeah, type, yeah, yeah, no? Yeah, <laughs> Meron ding kwarto na natural na mababa ang temperatura. Naramdam mo kagad pagpasok mo sa, 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 sa room, parang, uy, yes. parang kakatupatay lang ng aircon. Yes. So, alam mo na yun, na when, when you use these stones, yes. alam mo na yun na parang, ah, okay, they're gonna, bre they're gonna breathe. Yeah, because it's a uh, natural earth. Oh, yeah. Awesome. With, with the concrete, doesn't breathe because of my palitada eh. Correct, correct, yes. correct. Wow, you really have a nice spot here, no? 
a nice spot. Ang linawang tubig because maraming sea grasses. Bulinao is the sea grass capital of the Philippines. This is the home of the giant pawikan, right. seahorses, right. mga sungayan, parrotfish. Bukod sa mga tulugan, may iba pang amenities ang resort na tiyak na paputok sa inyo. May lounge area. At kung hindi naman kayo nagmamadali, subukan nyo ang Bamboo Maze CR. This is our Bamboo Maze CR. Okay. We got this babuho from San Felipe, Zambales. May kwarto rin na may direct access sa dagat. Basta't may naisip si Mike na ikagaganda ng kanyang resort at hindi nakasasama sa kapaligiran, siguradong bubuwi niya. Good job ka riyan, Mike! Ilang kilometro lang mula sa resort, matatagpuan ang Giant Taklobo Sanctuary. Dahil isa itong marine protected area, balsa lamang ang pinapayagang sakyan ng mga mangingisda at mga turista. Sampung minuto lang, maaari ng sumisid para makita ang mga naglalaki ang taklobo. Reminder, Vieros, just look, no touch. Huwag yan natin istorbo yun ang mga taklobo, okay? Magutom man kayo sa kalalangoy, bah, wala problema. Ang kainan din ang resort na to, at ang asawa naman ni Mike na si Juana ang namamahala dito. Couple goals. Mas magandang umpisahan natin yung sa appetizer, no? Yes. What do you think? Yes. Okay, please explain, madam. Okay, um, this is uh, candied cashew dangit. Okay. It's uh, made with the local delicacy, the dangit, mm -hmm. and then the soy. And I put goto cola vegetable for more ano, healthy eating. Ayan. Yeah. Uh, try so, it. So, ito, ito yung parang nakikita ko sa picture. Eh. Parang meron kang yes. award-winning dish na ito. <laughs> oh. Na, may competition yung lahat ng restaurant sa Bulinao mm -hmm. and we won as the champion and that's so, the appetite. Meron po ba kayo talagang uh, professional uh, culinary background o talagang Wala akong culinary background? Mahilig culinary ka lang talagang background. Mahilig ka lang. Uh -oh. And I went to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Nag-aral lang ko yung one hour, two hour course ng... Mga crash ito. courses? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's how I, I started loving ano, cooking on my own. Oh, ano yung tamis? Saan ang gagaling tamis? Um, it's honey, condensed milk, and the coconut milk. Malaking bagay yung coconut milk, yan? Yes. Meron din silang local version ng Pad Thai. Mm -hmm. At stir-fry seafood na hinaluan ng buko. May tamis rin siya ng konti. Yes. Pero ang pinagmamalaki nila, ang Tom Yum! Tapos, soup na lang. <coughs> Easily, my favorite. Yay! Ayaw. Thank you. Gata, asim, kagat ng anghang. Beautiful. Wow. And for dessert, binunge with a twist. Teka, teka, teka. Bago mag-twist, ano nga ba ang binunge?
Halo ito para matunaw yung asin. Itong malagkit, ilalagay po natin sa kawayan. Itong binong ay may tatlong ingredients, malagkit, gata, tsaka asin lang. Sa katatakpan ng buho at isasalang. Yung tradisyonal na binungay ng bulinaw, lalong pinawaw nila Joanna sa restaurant ito. So ito'y flower, uh, squash blossom. Uh, binungay, mango. Binungay, mango. And uh, gata. coconut cream. Coconut cream. Uh, <laughs> Mawawala ba ang paghanap ng pasalubong kapag nag-iikot kayo? Siyempre hindi. Perfect ang mga ito para sa biyahe ng pawe. Ilan kasi sa mga sikat na produkto ng bulinaw ay hindi madaling masira, tulad ng danggit at iba't ibang dinain na isda. At mga bottled delicacies? Hindi rin mawawala ang handicrafts dito sa bulinaw. Yari sa buri ang mga produkto nila. Sa mutsaring disenyo at laki ang nagagawa nilang bag mula sa dahon ng guri. Pero para sa akin, ito ang pinakapanalong may uuwi nyo, ang mga winner na alaala. Ganito na lang yan. Uh, kapag wala talaga kayong oras, pumunta dito sa Bulinao. Pero sabihin na natin, meron kayong katiting na oras. Ito yung kailangan nyo i-prioritize. Yung magnificent sunset this side of western Pangasinan. Northwestern Pangasinan. Alam nyo naman yun eh. The sun rises in the east, and it sets there so west. Look at that. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Kaya ang dami pumunta ng tao dito. Look at them. See? See? Nice lang. Nung kami ng ng ilang minutes. Anyway, you know, just to give respect to other tourists because this is a magical spot. Do your thing. Take shots. Get out. Go, go. <laughs> Kadalasan, kung ano pa ang biglaan at hindi mo inaasahan, yun pa ang gugulat at magpamamangha sa iyo. Akalain nyo may mga lugar pa rin madaling puntahan at kayang sulitin. Gaya ng Pulinao. Ilang beses man kitang napuntahan, napawaw mo pa rin ako, Pulinao. Thank you so much for watching the Ayani Drew videos on YouTube. Uh, please like and subscribe the official YouTube channel of GMA Public Affairs. Just like that. Like and subscribe.